Hi, it's Andrew here, the webinar creator, and thank you for coming on on this video. Now, this is a very short and concise video. It is done specially so that you can see exactly the benefits of you reaching out to your audience so that you can benefit greatly from participating with your audience with these webinars. Now then, what I've done here is something really special. I've actually got this being recorded on Camtasia. I am broadcasting the webinar live and I am also receiving a live link of the webinar in and I am running this from my Toshiba laptop here in rural France. So my bandwidth is being really hammered. And I need you to be aware that the quality of a couple of the pages won't be as good as it could be purely because of the bandwidth issues. So first thing is you'll have all seen this page. This is the page that you will go in to register for your webinar. So we don't need to worry about that. We've talked about that. But if you do take up the course that we offer, then obviously you'll get to see that. So I'm going to close that tab down. And we're going straight on to the control panel. Now, when you're running a webinar, this is exactly the thing that you'll be looking at. This will be your control panel. So this is going out now. And this area here is the area you need to be looking and focused at. That is the screen that is working next to the laptop screen, which would be your presentation. Uh, whatever presentation you're showing, you would be showing that on webinar. And obviously, I'd be telling you exactly how to do all of that. That isn't a problem. But that's what you would be showing there. Now, this is how it would look to you if you were there as the customer. This is what you would be seeing. So you'd be seeing a great big screen here. And this sidebar on the right hand side will be where you do all your call to actions. So let's go back to the control panel. You've got the chat room here. So this is where anybody can chat to you and there's lots of things you can do. You can also, if you want to, you can put your hand up to say, I've got a question for you. So let's just request that. I'm going to put a hand up and say, hey, I'm here. I want to talk to you. Can you see up here? You've got the little hand symbol that's coming up, flashes on and off periodically to say that somebody wants to communicate with you over and above just chatting in the chat room part. You might want to bring them in as a live participant to your webinar. How cool is that? I think that is just brilliant. But then you can look in the room and you can see who is there. So obviously, I'm one of the admins here. I'm one of the attendees as well. So when I said I'm streaming it live, that's exactly what I'm doing. So there I am here. Here I am also as an attendee. And I'm also putting a request up to speak. So I am there. OK, so you can see who is here. Also, in this particular part of the control panel, you can decide whether everybody can see your audience or nobody can see your audience. You make that decision. So you're in control. Now, one of the first things you might want to do and one of the things I tend to do on a regular basis is I'll conduct a poll. So I've got a poll there that's already lined up. I'll go in, I'll load it. And obviously, all of these things I've already created in the back end of the system. And on the training course, that's exactly what we go through, how you would do it. So in the control panel, here is where you're going to see the actual poll. So let's move across to the live room a second. And here in the live room, you can actually see, I'm going to turn that request off now. You can actually see here is the poll. So they've got the screen, which obviously I've zoomed in. So as you can see the detail here. You've got the screen that they would be looking at and watching your presentation and they can tick whatever they want as their option on your poll. OK, and then they're going to vote and you will come back to your control panel. And you will be able to see what that vote is immediately. So obviously there's only one person on this, which is me doing a vote for myself. So it's going to be 100%. So it depends on how many people you've got in the audience. You are going to be able to use that information 
and convey it back. So let's end the poll. Now the other brilliant feature of this is the pop-in tab. And what you have with the pop-in tabs are many different offers. So first thing I'm going to do is load one of them. So we'll go for that. Load it there. So again, this is what I'm seeing in the control room. So I'm in charge of everything. So if I've got a URL to direct them to, I could put the URL in. I am in control of everything that is here, even down to how long the offer is going to be there or whatever it is that I'm showing. So let's display the offer. OK, I'm going back into the live room. And here is the offer. So then you would click to download and that would then bring you up with the PDF that you were offering or whatever it was that you were giving away. And then you can also, this is also super cool. This is so cool, I just cannot tell you how brilliant this is. You can actually stream video to your audience. So again, that is what you're going to see in the live room and it's going to come up and then it is going to start to play. You know how long your video is going to be. So that is going to give you an opportunity to configure some answers to some questions possibly, to talk to your audience about other things that you haven't covered, go and get yourself a glass of water if your throat has gone. Now, as you can see, this comes onto the full screen part, and obviously because of the bandwidth issues I've got, and I've got so much working here, this has actually slowed down the actual transmission of the video in this case. When you're doing your webinars, you won't have any of these issues because you won't be doing what I'm doing using all of your resources. So this is just giving you the idea of how it would actually work and how powerful that is to be able to put a video into your webinar and actually be able to do something with the rest of the audience. So if you have found that you haven't engaged with them correctly or something along those lines, you can go out there and you can get repositioned on your webinar to bring the audience back in if you've already lost them. So there you go. That is something else that is brilliant. Now I'm going to end that video because that's using masses of bandwidth up because that video is coming out of YouTube. So that will be another stream coming in, going out to come back in again. I'm really using up my resources here. So then we would go back to the pop-ins and obviously you can remove the offer at any stage, but the timer is there as well. So then you might want to load your final offer and your final offer, whatever it could be. It could be a membership site, it could be a sale, it could be a download, it could be a coupon code. Whatever it is, you are going to be able to display your offer. So I'm going to show you here and I'm just going to put the offer available. So this would be the webinar creator course and this is what they would see in the live room. Okay so this would be for the people that wanted to take the course and that is going to take them through to PayPal so that they could go through and purchase the online course that we sell at $27. So $27, I don't know, 20 quid, 25 euros, something like that, whatever it works out at. And of course that takes not just PayPal but it also takes um, credit cards as well. So the whole system is set up ready for you to take the money. If you've got a PayPal account, you can put merchant services behind there so that you can take credit card payments or Visa card payments, MasterCard, things like that. That is all in there for you. So this is how powerful using webinar technology is. And you can do all of that whilst you've got the presentation to your audience going on here everything else is happening and opening up in new windows. So when we do the course for people that want to go on the webinar creator course, this is exactly what we're showing you how to do, what to do. It is brilliant technology. That is what you would be seeing on the actual system itself. So that would be your control room. Everything that you need is in here and you can operate 
whatever you want. You can also send your people at the end of the webinar straight through to a sales page or a landing page. So when the webinar finishes, you can redirect them straight to whatever website page you want. So the reason for coming out to you on this was to literally show you exactly what you can be doing by offering people the opportunity to work with them in a way that you can grow your business, your audience, you can talk to people, you can market to people. So there we go, Andrew Whitfield, the webinar creator. Watch out for more stuff coming out. And if you want to take that $27 course, just click the link below and that will take you through so that you can take that course. It's a fantastic course. It gives you everything you need to actually start. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. We've had brilliant results. We've already got a few hundred people that have signed up to it. So go and take it. It has been priced for you so that you can go in and do it yourself. If you want us to work with you and do some stuff with you, not a problem. We will do that. But that's me, Andrew Whitfield, the webinar creator. I will see you on the next webinar, which you'll be getting an email soon so that we can do a Q&A and I can cover all of the topics you want to cover. Bye for now.